Yo guys, this is Scientific Doctor. I thought I'd bring my uh, fix video uh, for the Steam inventory problem I've been having. Now there's a lot going on in this. I've been trying for a week or two. I don't remember how long this has been going on. Um, so there's a lot of things I've tried and I'm going to go through every single one of them. But first I'm going to go through the thing that fixed it for me. And I think it was accidental. So. I'm not sharing my entire screen here because I want to keep the cropping the same for my Walking Dead playthrough. So, um, but first off, you want to go to the top left, while in Steam, hit Steam, Settings, this window will pop up, go to Interface, then uncheck this, notify me about additions or changes to my games, new releases, and upcoming releases. Just for some reason, I, when I uncheck that and hit OK, um, it I did that for uh, the pop-ups like that will randomly come up on, on Steam the random uh, pop-up ads I did that for that but apparently it also debugged my inventory so now it works um, now if that doesn't work there are other things you can do so uh, don't worry but at first I thought it was just Windows 8 being Windows 8 um, but apparently not so try on checking that and if that doesn't work uh, watch the rest of this video I'm going to show you what Steam support told me so uh, you don't have to wait a week for a response or anything. Although they responded within 24 hours, so they are pretty fast. But if you're watching videos and you stumbled upon this, just watch this because I'm going to tell you exactly what they told me and will probably tell you. So if that doesn't work, uh, first off what you want to do is try and repair the Steam client. Now you're going to want to go uh, bottom left of your screen hit uh, the start button, hit all programs, go to accessories, right click on the command prompt and hit run as administrator. And then you're going to want to do this. Um, I will I will put this in the description uh, so you can just copy and paste it. Now you're first off going to want to check whether it's in program files or program files times 86 or something and I'll show you what I mean here. Um, as you can see, if I go into computer here, uh, go into my hard drive, there's program files and program files 86. It's the normal pathway, it's saying program files, but as you see here, Steam is not in there. So you're just going to want to check these two folders, and as you see, Steam is in here. Um, so when you copy this in, if it is not like that, just after program files, type space, parentheses, times 86 parentheses and then that's all you have to edit and uh, so you type this just copy that right in there and uh, this is ba basically saying what I just told you if it's not your normal directly directory or whatever and then once it's finished uh, it'll say steam client service repair complete and then you just restart your computer um, and that's about it and if that doesn't work there is one other thing you could try. Um, so here, um, write down your uh, account name and password just in case you don't remember it, because um, it's you're basically uninstalling Steam, but in a different way. Um, so exit Steam, close it fully out, and then um, if you currently have any Steam games, I'm assuming you do because then you want to check your inventory because you've been playing a game and you've been earning things so uh, all you do is you go back in your computer here um, computer go back in here program files uh, go to steam then steam apps common um, so actually you're just gonna want to copy uh, the steam apps folder uh, I don't know if you're you could either copy it or move it I'm pretty sure you do not have to copy it. Copying it takes a while based on how many games you have. Uh, for me it was like 70 gigabytes took half an hour almost. So uh, if you don't want to waste all that time uh, copying it, I think moving it will be faster. So uh, just another thing, uh, so just move it to your desktop. Then you're going to want to uh, delete the entire Steam folder. Just completely delete it. Um, then you hit your Windows key, then uh, you run, uh, so 
uh, your bottom left here, uh, then just type R, U, N, hit run. Um, this will come up. Type in R E G, edit. Uh, you can see that in the video. I'm not going to put that in the description. Uh, it's very simple to type. Um, then you're going to want to hit OK here. I'm going to show you this this way because it might be a little uh, weird to uh, see this. But first off, what you're going to want to do is delete the H key current users. So let me just find that real quick. H key current user, then uh, where do you go? Software, then valve. Delete the valve. To just right click and hit delete. Next up, what you're going to want to do after you go into this, let me just minimize that so I can, you can see everything. You're going to want to go in H key, local machine, go in software. Then it'll either be in here, valve will either be in here, or you have to go in WoW 6432 node and valve will be in here. As you can see, it's here. Just right click and delete it. Then all you're going to want to do after that is close out of there and restart your computer. And after that, you're just going to want to go to steampower.com and then download Steam and just reinstall the Steam. Uh, folder and everything and then uh, move your steam apps back into the steam folder and that is all the options that you can do here so if your steam info inventory does not work after that it is just Windows 8 um, if it doesn't work after that and you don't have Windows 8 uh, please do contact steam telling them exactly what you have tried here um, Sorry if I went a little fast, but I know you can just rewind the video, and I'm pretty sure I showed uh, pretty much all I needed to show here. Uh, sorry I didn't show uh, the Steam bin service, but you'll see exactly what I'm uh, showing you here uh, when you go to do it. You're just going to uh, right click and paste that, um, and uh, if it says can't find path, then you're going to want to type it. I'll have it in the description. So you just type it and then just change the program files to the parentheses or wherever your uh, Steam bin is. So that is about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really do hope it helps because I, I finally got it to work. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If it helps, please leave either a like or an, and or a comment saying that it worked. I at least want the comment saying it worked because... Uh, that just really helps me out uh, and it uh, helps other people saying that uh, at least one of these options will help uh, for the most part. So um, that is about it. Everything you need will be in the description and in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this fix and hopefully it fixed your, your Steam inventory. Hopefully you can make those trades, get some uh, dollar dollar bills, sell those badges, you know what I'm saying? Uh, get ready for the next Steam sale. Get ready for that summer Steam sale, guys. I'll see you in the next video of my playthroughs, walkthroughs, and anything I find out about games. That's about it. This has been The Scientific Doctor with your prescription.